Welcome back. The next thing that we are going to see is how to use GURP with ASP.NET Core MVC. Now, in this video, we're going to learn how to use GURP.js to minify and uglify and to configure Task Runner Explorer in ASP.NET Core MVC. Now, the first question we arrive in mind is what is GURP.js? Well, GURP.js is open source JavaScript toolkit for the automating tasks in the development process. In our daily projects, we develop lots of JavaScript, cascading style sheets, HTML files, but to minify or beautify this file, we go to some website and there we upload files to minify or beautify them. What about if we can automate this process in Visual Studio? What would be your reaction? So, actually, with GOP, you we can do this. Now, let's start by creating a project, going to File, New Project, and I'm going to name it using GOP. As web application is fine, so now just waiting to create it. Okay, so it's done. Now, what we need to do is add package.json file in our project. So, we're going to add this to the project for downloading packages from Node Package Manager. To add it, we need to go here, right button, add, and go to New Item. Now, the file for which we're looking is called npm configurational file. So here this one. And we can just leave it with the name package.json and say add. Okay, by default what we receive, we receive version 1.0.0 name ASP.NET, private true, and some development dependencies. Now after adding a package.json file to the project, next we're going to download packages for Go. So what we need to do. We're going to download the packages which are uh, Goop, Goop Contact, CSS Minifier, Uglify, Minify HTML, and Goop EXT Replace. Now, here, how we can do it. Going back to our package.json, inside dev dependencies, here, I'm going to add it. So, saying Goop, two dots, and here, I need to provide version. So, 3.9. 4.1 will be fine. After that, I'm going to add package uh, rimraf. Okay, the good thing here is that we got IntelliSense with, let's say, the latest version, this one. Okay, the next thing is go, not this go. Okay, we broke a little bit brackets. So now we need to add go. Concat, okay, this one, and again using the latest version, uh, I'll need go CSS minifier, okay, CSS min with the latest version. After that is coming go dot go uglyfy. Okay, this one with the latest version, go. Okay, uh, go. We need minify HTML. Okay, go minify HTML. That should be fine. Let's see what version we got for it. 1.0.6 is the latest version. And the last thing that we will need will be go ext slash replace okay with 0 0.2.0 so basically that will be fine and now after adding the dependencies in package.json file just saving this file or the entire project as you save it will start downloading packages from node package manager so if i open dependencies node package manager 
you can see that you have them here. Now what we can do is right button and restore packages to get them all. And now it should be restoring them. So in the meantime, the next thing that we can do is add gopfile.js. So come in here, add new item, and this item should be gop configuration file. gopfile.js, that's fine. Okay, so here we can see uh, that we got some default code in our in our file. So we got var gop equals require gop require that's basically require.js library. And here we're saying gop.task default task and we can place code for default tasks here. So the first step, let's explain it, is to load the module. This code is modding is loading the module and gop.task from default and function. In the second step, that's how let's actually take a look how the task will look like. So default is the name of the task and you can write task inside this inside this function. Now we can write some simple message to display welcome to gov.js. What I can say here is in JavaScript console.walk welcome to gov.js in Visual Studio. Okay, and that will be fine. Now the next step for using Go is to install Task Runner Explorer extension Visual Studio. So going to Tools, Extensions and Updates. I need to look for Task Runner Explorer. Should be Task. Okay, and I don't have it because I'm looking it installed. Make sure that you search in online. Because of course you don't have it. It loaded just make sure that sometimes it's a little bit slower than usual okay now we cannot find um, we cannot find it here so I'm going to copy it and I'm going to Google it so what we receive here is this page now from this URL marketplace.visualstudio.com item slash item name it equals Mats Christensen's dot task runner explorer. So basically we need to download uh, this extension and I'm going to add it into your files as well from the course. So what we can do is open it and for that point for installing we need to of course close our Visual Studio. So please close it, install it and open it again. So let's install it now. Yes, yeah, this is for Visual Studio Community 2017 and install. Okay, and now we click close. Now, of course, we need to open our Visual Studio again. So here we got it. So after restart, restarting Visual Studio, next we need to open our Task Runner Explorer. And now we're going to see where actually it's located. We got Visual Studio loaded. So let's go to View, Other Windows, and here we need to look for Task Runner Explorer. Basically, you need this thing. So opening it now. Basically, the Task Runner Explorer contains all tasks of gumfile, gumfile.js, and in tasks, you can find the tasks which we have created, the default one. So, we can, if I expand it, you can see that here we got default task. Now, we're going to run default task. To run it, just right click on the name default and click run. Now, here you can see what's happening after running a task. 
and you can see that it's successfully finished. After completing task, task next we're going to learn how to minify an HTML file using GUM file. Now let's go and write some task. I'm going to close this for now and hide it here in Task Runner Explorer. So basically, uh, in this step, we're going to write a task to minify HTML file. For doing that first, I'm going to add a folder with name HTML files. So here inside our www root folder, I'm going to say right button, add new folder, and we'll call, call it, for example, uh, HTML files. Then inside that folder, I'm going to add an HTML file with name demo.html. So going to new item. From here, I'm going to look for HTML page and let's call it demo.html. The next thing is I'm going to add another folder in the same uh, web root folder and with that will be with name compressed files. Okay, and here basically we are going to store uh, minified HTML files. Now inside that demo, what I can say, I can say paragraph, this is a paragraph dot. Okay, one tab nesting. Okay, and I can just copy this multiple times and formatting. After adding HTML with space. Next, we're going to write task for minifying this HTML file and write it to other location, which will be our uh, compressed file. Let's go back to go. Now, what we need to have first, let's use, uh, let's say, minify HTML is equal to require, and here what we already installed go slash minify slash html not double slashes slash okay after that i need to have path so var path is equal to anonymous object with web root which will be dot slash www root slash okay the next thing is paths dot html i'm going to attach this property will be um paths dot web root what we already have plus html files here i'm giving the name of our folder so html files slash star star everything in this means everything inside that folder which has no matter what name but ends on dot html so basically here we're saying getting path of html files to minifying the next thing that we need to do is basically path to writing minified files after minifying. So I'm going to say path.destination is equal to again path.webroot plus the name of our folder which is compressed files. Okay, and now group.task. Here I need to give the name, so minify HTML for example, that should be valid name, and here provide function. Inside that function I need to say go.source and provide uh, paths.html. After that I need to give .pipe minify HTML, this is uh, the function that I need to use. And after that, I'm going to say again dot pipe, and here go dot destination is path dot destination. Okay, and that will be fine. Now the next thing is I can say basically, let's just say what that is. Here, this thing is path to your files. That's what we're saying. After that, we're saying minifying files using a function minify HTML, which comes from gob.js. And after that, I'm giving 
writing files to destination. Okay, the next thing and the last thing is go.task with name, we can call it demo. And after that, give array from minify HTML, which is our task. So here you can provide array from multiple tasks. And when you call demo, it will run all of them. Let's call this main task to call for minifying HTML files. And that should be fine. Now go one, once again through the code. So the first thing is var gulp equals required gulp and minifier required gulp minify HTML. Basically, in the first step, we're going to load these modules. In the second step, we're going to declare a variable with name paths, which is going to store the path of web root folder. After that, in third step, we're going to declare path to get files from folder HTML files folder. In the fourth step, we're going to declare path to writing compressed files in compressed file folder. In the fifth step, we're going to write task minify HTML for getting all HTML files and use minify package to minify them and write it to destination folder, uh, which we have created. Now, in the sixth and last step, we're just writing main task such, such that we can run another task sequently. Finally, we're saving gulp.js and we're opening again our task runner explorer. To run it, we need to right click. Now we got here failed to load and see output window control uh, out all. Let's see what we got. So we got some errors. Path is not defined. This means that I got somewhere error in my code. And let's look for path. Okay, and here, yes, the error is that I'm saying uh, paths.html is equal to path.webroot. Of course, here I need to make it paths, and here as well. Opening again, the good thing here is, as you saw, if you got any exception, it's showing you what's the problem. So it's pretty easy to solve it. Even if you didn't write uh, such things before, then Kunzo is enough helpful for you. Now, what we need, how we can run it? Well, you can say right click and run on minify HTML, which is the option. But basically, I prefer to have some main task. And here, as I said, simply in a sequence, load many tasks, whatever I need. So minify my HTML, minify my CSS, my JavaScript, etc, etc, etc. So you can have something like demo, or of course, it won't be demo in real case app, it will be main. So I click right button. And after that, you got run. After running task, now we have to see compressed file folder where minified HTML file is stored. So if I come here, I see compressed file and demo.html. What you can see is that actually it's already, um, it's already minified. So with this syntax, you can continue and minify your CSS, minify your JavaScript and whatever else you need. So that was an introduction to Gulp. I hope that it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.